fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the western United States. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. No man could match his daring and resourcefulness. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young and the Lone Ranger was fighting the greatest battle of his entire career. Tonto and Arizona Lawson were standing in the living room of the Graham Ranch House. Graham had left the room for a moment, and they watched him curiously as he returned with a small leather sack in either hand. It's uh, none of my business, maybe, Graham, but would you mind telling us what you're up to? <laughs> Nothing that'll make you angry, I hope. Those are yours. Huh? One for you and one for Tonto. Me, no savvy. Each of those sacks contains $1,000 in gold. Take them. You've earned it. Oh, now, look, Graham, now, there's no... Don't refuse it, Arizona. If I thought you'd accept, I'd offer you ten times that amount. I can afford it, and what the pair of you've done for this district is worth a hundred times as much. When you arrived at Spanish Flats, a dozen outlaw gangs held the territory in absolute fear. Not even the law dared to move against them. Now, well, now it's a different story. Every one of those men is dead or in jail. Honest people can go about their business as they always should have done. I helped a little, but the greatest credit should go to you and Tonto and the Lone Ranger, wherever he is. Graham, you you don't get it. Well, what's wrong? You know the Lone Ranger don't ever take cash, don't you? <laughs> of course, but I'm not offering him any. Uh, maybe not, but it amounts to the same thing. I still oh, you think... Wait. You see, it's like this. Back when we thought the masked man had been done for, I offered to help Tonto the best I could. Of course, I ain't no way to substitute for the Lone Ranger, but it was his work I meant to carry on. The way it turned out, he done most of it. Even if we ain't laid eyes on him. But at least I was trying. So now if I took pay for the little I'd done, well, I just feel kind of mean and cheap and ornery. And I know Tonto would feel the same. <laughs> that right, Tonto? Ah. Well, then I apologize. I meant well, but I see where I had you sized up wrong. <laughs> oh, but at any rate, you'll let me tell you how grateful I am, won't you? Nope. Oh, but now listen. No, nope, Grim. Not till we've finished our job. But you have. Uh-uh. But I tell you... You forgot the gent behind all them crooks, have you, Graham? You intend to get him? Uh, We get him. But, well, you can't. Well, the idea's preposterous. Why? You don't know who the man is. No one does. That's right. Then how do you explain... Graham, you should know what the masked man always says. When you start a job, don't quit until you've done it right. Well, if we quit now, our job wouldn't be more than half done. The man hasn't any power with those gangs broken up. He could organize again some other time. The law doesn't know his identity. His own men didn't know. He made contact with them by means of a go-between. We don't know who that go-between was. We have absolutely no clue that could possibly lead us to him. Mm, that's wrong. You mean... You mean you have? Uh. But I didn't know this. Why didn't you tell me? Well, we didn't have enough to go on. But you have now? We expect to have. Well, I don't understand. Graham, I'm sorry we had to mention it at all. We didn't mean to. Wouldn't have if we hadn't gotten to this argument. Well, don't you oh, wait see... a minute. Tonto said we had a clue. Well, in a manner of speaking, we have. But it ain't enough yet. And there's some other information we've got to get a hold of before we can act. What other information? <laughs> well, Graham, you're asking me something I don't know myself. It'll tell who the man's name is? No. Nope. Oh. But it'll show us how to go about learning his name, Graham. And I can tell you this. When the time comes to find out, you won't be left out in the cold. We're going to need your help. <laughs> Two days later, that Graham and Sheriff Wicks of Spanish Flats rode side by side across country. The rancher was speaking earnestly to the lawman. Sheriff, I know Arizona and Tonto have something up their sleeves. From what you said, Graham, they must have. They've got a lead on this fellow who first organized the outlaws we've been fighting. Sounds like it. When they left the other day, I followed them away. Yeah? And that's what made me suspect Boylan. What do you mean? They rode to Boylan's ranch. Not openly, Sheriff. Secretly. I noticed they took a great deal of pains to keep anyone on the place from discovering them. Mm. 
I couldn't do more at the time, because after all, if they don't want to confide in me now, it's not my place to force their hand. I've noticed them two gents usually savvy what they're about. I'm sure they do this time. If they suspicion Boylan, you mean? Yes. I don't know, but what you like. Sheriff, I'm certain I am. Look at what's going on. For the past two weeks, Boylan has been disposing of his property as fast as possible. Yeah? Nothing suspicious in that, of course. Unless you realize that Boylan may be the man we want. And now that his gangs are finished, he's clearing out. And then them guards are here. Exactly. No one can get near his ranch house without permission in advance. Of course, he always has been a sort of peculiar old duck. Never made friends. Doesn't that fit in, too? Wouldn't a man in that position naturally avoid all contacts that might accidentally reveal his game? Uh-huh, I reckon he might. Wouldn't he avoid making friends? Wouldn't he deliberately discourage any visitors who might arrive at awkward times? It all fits in, don't it? Mark my words, Sheriff. Tonto and Arizona know something about that man. They aren't spying on him just to pass the time. Uh-huh. Only thing is... Well? Uh, maybe we ought to leave all this to them. Maybe we shouldn't butt in. If Boylan's crooked, they'll get a lot further proven than I will. Perhaps. But on the other hand, you may be able to give them valuable aid. Oh. Why? Because you're the law. You can openly demand information they could only gather indirectly. For instance, why is he so anxious to sell out? You mean when we get there, I should ask him that? Certainly. But if he's crooked, he'll just lie about it. And if he does lie about it, we'll probably know it. Yeah, that's so. Hold it. Whoa, boy. Whoa. 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 Oh, we're almost there. You can see his place through these trees. Where are them guards? There are two of them in front of the house. Yeah. And there's another near the corrals. What do you think, Graham? Think we ought to ride right up and make them let us by? <laughs> because of the star you're wearing? That means about as much to those gun hands as a bouquet of daisies. No, we're leaving our horses here. <clears throat> there's a side door. These trees will give us cover until we're almost there. They'll hide our horses. Come on. Well... Now, don't be a fool, Sheriff. We'll never see Boylan if we let those guards see us. Now, do what I say. All right, go ahead. I'm with you. This way. Wait. Don't see anybody now. I think the coast's clear. That's the door. I mean, right there. Let's hope it isn't locked. What are you going to do? Make it before anyone shows up. Come along now. Hurry. Fingers crossed. Uh, what the... Sit right where you are, Boylan. We aim to ask you some questions. Uh, what do you mean, breaking into my home like this? Are we... Let me do the talking, Sheriff. If you didn't have guards stationed outside, Boylan, it wouldn't be necessary to break in here. Yeah, fine guards they are. I'll fire every one of them. Later, you can do what you please. Right now, we're after information. What information? The reason for those guards. Your reason for attempting to sell out. Well, that happens to be none of your business. We're making it our business. Yes. And you'll answer, Boylan, or find yourself in jail. So, that's it, eh? Well, gentlemen, I'll tell you. About the guards, I refuse to answer. For my one to sell, well, you can know it if you wish. Go on, talk. No, there's no need. I have some papers here that will explain the matter for me. Hmm? What papers? Right here in my desk. Now, if you'll just glance at these... Gentlemen, reach for the ceiling. Why, you tricked us, Graham. He opened that drawer just to get at that gun. I did, and now you listen to me. You... you have exactly 30 seconds to get out of this house, or I'll blow the pair of you right square into the middle of next week. <laughs> like we should have left all this to Tonto in Arizona to handle. Oh. But after what that skunk just did to us, doggone if I don't send him to jail myself. Come on, let's get to town and figure this out. Get up. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get What do you expect to do about Boylan? Graham, I'll tell you. You've got something in mind? I've learned a few things this last month or so. Yeah? I've been watching Tonto in Arizona. I've seen how that mask fellow works. 
Even if I ain't seen him. I've learned that sometimes it pays a heap better to use your head instead of your guns. Which means exactly what? I'm going to use my head. How? I figure Boylan's guilty. And so do I. But there ain't no use fetching him into town and trying to make him answer questions. Even if we get enough fellas together to ride out to his place and make him come. No, I don't suppose there would be. So I'm going to do something else. I'm going to trick that hombre. That's what I asked you. How? You game to back me up? If you don't mind explaining what you're thinking of. Graham, what was the one weak point in Boylan's scheme? Well, I don't know. The fellow he used to take orders to the crooks working for him, wanted. Well, I suppose so. Of course it's so. Nobody in them gangs could tell who the big boss was. Because they never seen him, nor heard his name mentioned. All they knew was that he told them what to do and how to do it, and afterwards collected his share of the loot. Yeah. But the fellow that carried the orders for him had to know who Boylan was. Out of everybody in the county, he's the one man could stand up and point a finger at Boylan and say he was guilty. Why, of course. Well, then maybe now you see what I've got in mind. <laughs> I'm afraid I still don't. Why, it's as plain as the nose on your face, Graham. I'm going to try a scheme like a masked man used once in a while. I'm going to spread the word that Boylan's go-between has let me know he's willing to tell who hired him in exchange for my promise to let him off. Uh, you know who this go-between is? No, but... Well, if you don't, I'm afraid the plan isn't very practical. Why not? Boylan don't know I ain't acquainted with a fella, does he? No. Then how can he know I ain't telling the truth? And if he believes you... Then I'll use the next part of my scheme. I'll act like I'm going to meet that gent somewhere in the hills to get his story. I'll see to it Boylan finds out when and where I'm going to meet that fella. Boylan will have to try to shut his mouth. And when he does that, he'll give himself away. Oh. And who are you going to use to pretend to be the man you're meeting? Oh, most any fella will do. Boy, I don't have to get a look at him. <laughs> His conscience will fix that up all right. I'm not sure this will work. Why not? Well, I don't... Oh, it'll work all right. Well, who's yeah. that? Uh, it worked. Tonto. Arizona. We heard you two gents talking through that there open window. <laughs> you ought to be more careful. Well, I am. And if you're wondering why we're so sure your scheme will work, Sheriff, I'll tell you. Me and Tonto will spread that story you was talking about. But, uh, and we won't have to stretch the truth none. Huh? Because we really know who is carrying orders from the boss to them crooks. We just found out today. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. To continue our story, in accordance with the sheriff's plan, Arizona went to the cafe and talked just enough to create the impression he desired. No, boys, I, I can't say anything more. Not yet. I don't know his name for sure. But if I was to make a guess, I'd say he was a big rancher in these parts. Yep. He's mighty clever, and he's mighty careful, too. Maybe he realizes he's made a mistake. Wouldn't surprise me, Nell, if he tried to clear out. But he's waited too long. After I've talked with a certain hombre tonight, we'll know his name. And the sheriff will have all the evidence he needs to hang him. Adios. Arizona left the cafe and met Tonto outside of town. Together, they rode to the ridge of a hill not far away, and there the Indian built a fire. As the column of smoke was rising straight in the air, he prepared to send a message. Just say that everything's set, and all we need is the word to go ahead. Ah, uh, time to do it. We'll have to stay here till we get a reply. Ah. Uh. Is that all? Ah. Uh, Uncle saying what you tell him. Better do it again. Keep on repeating until you're You shoot. wait. What's up? You look. Hill to north. Smoke. 
Huh? A signal. That's right. What's it say? Night. Line. Cabin. South. Tonight. Line cabin south. South of where? There's plenty of line cabins south of here. Long. There. Canyon. That's all we need, Tonto. Tonight. There's been no change. And south of Lame Bear Canyon. You right, Sir Graham? Just as soon as it gets dark. The sheriff and his posse will be waiting there. One of them that ain't talking about us locating Boylan's messenger. They don't know Boylan's the man we're after, do they? Shucks, no, Graham. I just said that because we all know he's the fella. Oh. But what about Boylan himself, Arizona? <laughs> Tana took care of that. You know he did? Sure. I met him at the Grove and he told me. He talked to one of Boylan's gun hands. From the excitement around the place afterwards, Tano says that gun hand must have run right to Boylan then and there and repeated the whole thing. Good. It won't be hard for Boylan to learn you come here to Graham's place, Sheriff. And he ain't going to take no chance you're going to meet that army that was working for him without his being close by. Think he's somewhere near now? Wouldn't surprise me none. Uh, he'll follow us? Have to, won't he? That is, if he figures on finding where the fellow's hiding out and finishing him off before he can talk to us. Yeah. What do we do now, Arizona? Got your horses ready? Yeah, we got And I'd say we better get started. We're to meet that fellow at one. Before that, we've got to meet Tarno. Where? He'll still be waiting at the Grove. And where do we meet that messenger? Know that line cabin south of Lame Bear Canyon? Yeah. Well, that's it. Come on, we better get going. Sure, Tunnel. You sure you didn't mistake somebody else for him in the dark? Me, no, Tunnel, all right. But which way did he come from? Come from ranch. My ranch? Uh. Fellas, I told you. I told you that stuff to be somewhere close. Tunnel, when he went past here, which way was he heading? Him go that way. Oh, Glen Bear Canyon. Figures to get there first. And if he does? If he does and finds that gent we're meeting up with first, we might as well stay to home with the waste not time. You mean? I mean, Borden will drill him on the spot. Gents, we've got to make tracks. All right. Let's get going. Get up. 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 How much farther, Arizona? I'm over two miles. We ain't riding right up to that cabin, are we? Oh, there's some cover just this side. That's where we'll stop. Get up. Come get along. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. We are. Pull up. There's the cabin. See the horses here? Yeah. You're going to have to keep still. And don't you budge from this spot neither. Right now, you ain't wanted. Savvy? You'd better. You know what? Now to see if that gent's here to meet us. And if he is, to see if Boylan got to him first. We walk right in. Uh uh. Well, it's that easy to fix this meeting, Sheriff. That gent's too suspicious. He said if we walked up to that cabin without signaling to him first, he'd blast the daylights out of us. Signal him? Yeah. Tano knows what to do. Go ahead, Tano. Uh. That it? Yeah. All the answer. Wait. There. That's him. I seen somebody light a match in there. That's to let us know he heard us and everything's all right. Then we beat boiling to it. Seems as if. Now, look. I'm going to tell you fellas what to do. And you see to what you do it, or maybe there'll be the dickens to pay. Go ahead. I'm going in there. And the rest of us? You fellows got to keep watch for Boylan. If he ain't here now, he will be. And we don't know for sure he ain't here already and hiding. Mm -hmm. Now, we want him to make a try at that fellow in the cabin. That'll cinch the case again him. But we don't want that try his to work. Nice. If it does and Boylan gets away afterwards, 
it means every one of us is going to be in danger. He ain't going to let us live as long as he thinks there's any kind of a chance at all that we know who he is. You're right. Now, Tonto, when I start for the cabin, you go over and take up your position by that clump of bushes there. Uh. Keep out of sight. And keep your eyes peeled for anything that moves in your territory. Uh, Tonto, do it. Graham, you get over by them rocks. There's plenty of shadow there. You wouldn't be seen. All right, Arizona. The rest of you fellas spread around. And, Sheriff, yeah. you better stay right here. Mm. That means when Borland makes his try... At least one of you is going to have him inside. All right. Well, here goes. Let's pray for luck, fellas. If this works, we're going to catch us the biggest crook this part of the West ever seen. Who's mm-hmm. in? It's me, Arizona. Just a second. All right, fella. Walk in with your hands in the air. I ain't going to try nothing. I don't trust you or nobody. You armed? Sure. Yeah, I see you. Just carrying that one gun? Search me if you think I got any hit away. I will. Only I'll take this one first. Yeah, now stand still. Go ahead. Mm. Don't find nothing. Said you wouldn't. All right, state your terms and make a run. You know what you're offered. Told you when we arranged this meeting. I want any charges again, me forgot. They will be. If I tell you the name of the gent I was working for, I want protection afterwards. You'll get it. How do I know that? Sheriff's outside now. I'll call him if you want me to. He'll tell you the same himself. Never mind. I can wait. All right, then. How about it? Hmm? Name him. You know what I'm here for. Name the skunk that hired you. Name that coyote that's been running all them gangs. All right, fellas. Someone fired from outside. Arizona! Arizona! What the... Arizona! That was Boylan. I saw him when he got away. Boylan fired those shots and I can swear to I told you to be just sheriff and Tonto find him before he escaped. But why didn't you... Go on, Arizona, hurry. Now look over this way. Look everywhere. Don't let him reach his horse. Sheriff, Tonto, which way did this fellow go? What? Graham? No, don't move, Stubb. You stop where you are. Oh, you were going to turn me in. No, no, honest, I wasn't, Graham. Wait. You were going to tell Arizona I was the man behind those gangs. Oh, please, shut up. Hear them outside, Stubb? <laughs> they're looking for Boylan. I don't know what he's got to do with this. But anyhow, they're out there trying to find him. They've forgotten all about you and me. Boss, what are you going to do? What do you think, Stubb? <laughs> but I never... Didn't I tell you if you worked with me on this, you'd never have to worry about money again as long as you lived? But I Everything did. Everything was going fine. We made fools out of Tonto in Arizona. I let them think I was working with them because I wanted law and order in the county. And they didn't realize for one moment they were working for me. But, boss, they you didn't don't... even guess it was me who was turning in my own men. They didn't even suspect I wanted those men jailed and hanged so I could retire in safety. I tell you... And then you had to turn yellow and try to save your own worthless hide by telling them who I am. Boss, I swear I wasn't going to tell them a thing. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Why did you arrange to meet them? I didn't. Don't tell me that. You weren't here by accident. The boss, well, won't you give me a chance to explain? Won't you let me tell just what happened? Sure, you can tell your story. Oh. To Red Camp and Pawnee Pete and all the others. They've been hanged. <laughs> exactly. I see that you understand. No. Oh, no, put down that gun, boss. Don't aim it at me. No, no, Don't please, wait. Don't cry, Stubb. You took your chance and lost. I tell you, I... Now he's left. <laughs> Reach the pick of that gun, Graham, and I'll let you have it. But, Hello, Ranger. No. No, it isn't true. I can't believe it. It's true, all right, Graham. And he knew all the time that you was a skunk behind them gangs. You've been keeping yourself secret. You had to be the man, Graham. Because when I first arrived in this section, your men made an attack on my life. And you were the only person outside of Tato in Arizona and knew I was around. You. you called us in to round up those outlaws for exactly the reason you just mentioned to Stubb. You planned to make us your tools to rid yourself of the organization... For which you had no further use. Why, you... But I played your own game, Graham. I let you betray your men when I stayed out of sight. As long as you turned them over to the law, you were doing what I wanted. Once they'd all been captured, however, you were finished. Whether you knew it or not. Graham, the masked man arranged this whole scheme. Me and Tonto and Arizona and Boylan was all in it. We let you think we suspicion Boylan so that you'd figure you could drill Stubb to keep his mouth shut. And Boylan would take the burn. You win. I thought you'd see it that way, Graham. You're too smart to fight when you know you're beaten. And I think I knew from the first you'd be too much for me. When I called you here, I didn't plan your death. I guess that. 
When I met you, I knew if I were to be safe, you had to die. But your attempted murder failed. We've got every crook that was in this county. And the man that bossed them to boot. You'll hang, Graham. And once and for all, we'll have peace along the Rio. Thanks to the masked man. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 